Have you ever stopped to wonder why, in this age of technological advancement and automation, we still cling to the standard 40-hour workweek? Could it be that this widely accepted norm is not just a relic of the industrial age, but a carefully constructed tool to maintain control over society? Welcome to the exploration of the productivity illusion, a conspiracy theory that suggests we've all been intentionally kept busy, too occupied to question, too drained to innovate. It proposes that the 40-hour workweek is not a natural evolution of labor, but a deliberate design by a powerful unseen group. Their goal? To keep the masses compliant and prevent us from unlocking our true potential. This theory begins with the birth of the 40-hour workweek during the Industrial Revolution. Workers were exploited, their hours long and conditions harsh. But as technology advanced, the need for such gruelling schedules should have diminished. And yet, the 40-hour workweek remained and remains the standard. But why would this be? The productivity illusion suggests a sinister motive. By keeping the masses tired and occupied, they remain compliant, less likely to question the status quo. Our society, it suggests, is not a meritocracy, but a carefully controlled environment designed to suppress innovation and maintain a system that benefits only a select few. In essence, it's a form of societal control. Evidence for this theory, proponents argue, can be found in the consistent resistance to alternative work schedules. Studies have shown that reduced hours can lead to increased productivity and happier, healthier workers. And yet, these findings are often ignored or suppressed. Could this be because a more balanced approach to work might lead to a societal revolution, a shift in power that the hidden forces controlling the work week wish to avoid? Whistleblowers from within the corporate world have come forward with stories of secret experiments on alternative work schedules, only to be silenced or discredited. Researchers who've tried to reveal the truth have had their work suppressed, their careers threatened. And then there are the individuals who've glimpsed a world beyond the constraints of the 40-hour work week. People who've escaped the grind and found not only a better work-life balance, but a greater sense of freedom and potential. Their stories challenge the very fabric of our labor system, suggesting a different, better way. In summary, the productivity illusion presents a compelling view of the 40-hour work week as a tool of control. It suggests that we've all been kept busy, too occupied to question, too drained to innovate. The evidence lies in the resistance to alternative work schedules, the suppression of research, and the experiences of those who've broken free from the constraints of the standard work week. But as with any conspiracy theory, it's up to you to decide what to believe. Are we, as a society, being held back by an outdated and manipulative system? Or is the 40-hour work week simply a necessary evil of modern life? The productivity illusion raises these questions, challenging us all to look beyond the status quo and consider a different way of living and working. 